If you want to see this, go to this. And stay tuned and keep watching my video, people. You're going to like this one. So today I'm going to be doing a skin fade pompadour with a hard part on some long ass hair and a terrible, terrible crown. So let's start this one with the Ionicas. Again, it is probably my favourite clip up. Um, reason being is because it goes right down from a zero to a one. The battery life in it is absolutely amazing and it is a take in, take out battery. So you don't have to put it on charge, there's no wires to it ever. So what you do is you just buy a spare battery and then you can just flick in, flick out. The bad thing is about these, you cannot gap them but they get rather close anyway so it doesn't really matter too much um, but I just love the fact that they're on a rotary motor they cut wet, dry hair, they're really smooth um, and yeah, they're, they're literally my, my favourite, favourite clipper I think they're called the Super 120 in the US and they're in black which is really, really cool um, but in England they're, they're the Oronicas and they're absolutely amazing So I'm going to start, obviously I'm going to take this right down to skin, but I want to start removing bulk and just pretty much giving myself a guideline. I always like to give myself a guideline just to make sure that I know where I'm at. I don't want to um, just go straight in with the skin fade. So uh, yeah, this is me putting in my guideline. So now guidelines put in, you can see it's a lot clearer for when I'm coming in and I'm using my slim lines. So what I want to do is I want to just hit in slim lines just to the eyebrow. If you match up eyebrow to hair, that's where I want it to be. And then around the ear, just bring them just down slightly. So they're giving sort of ear shape as such. I don't want to do a straight line straight across. And after I've taken out all that, what I then want to do is I want to start with my full shapes. Now onto my US Pros. The reason I use my US Pros to fade in the slim lines into the hair is because I've stuck my fade blade on it. Now, you can gap these, you can get them as close as you want. The fade blade is dead flat. It's a surgical blade, so it gets very, very, very close. And I just love how these feel in your hand. Um, so the best thing is to do is just, as you can see, I've got that on a quarter guard now. And I'm just slowly, I'm not flicking, I'm just rubbing against the hair. Just, just, just to get that line out. 
it's really funny because um, I don't know if to talk or not. But I know some people mentioned about they like to clip a noise and stuff like that. But I like being, I like teaching, and I like teaching you guys. So let me know what you want to want hear. If you want to hear me, tell me to shut up. Tell me shut up, and you can like watch the video. Or <laughs> if you want, I can I can talk and I can really go into detail about how this haircut works. Or um, in future future videos, obviously. So yeah, just let me know. So back on my own because now what I'm doing is the complete other side. You can see where the disconnection lays where I've clipped it up. So I've just lifted that up to give me a good view of where I'm cutting. And I'm lifting that up at a 90 degree angle with my Kenny Duncan fade comb. And I just want to start taking that bulk off. The best thing about these ironicas is they have a bevel blade on them. So again you can just flick out. As you can see I'm flicking as I'm coming away from the head. And what that allows me to do is that allows me to taper in the hair a lot easier. Hair cutting is not a race. Don't feel like you need to rush a haircut. Just take your time on it. And slowly, slowly start seeing it. Start seeing it come out. Make it perfect. Then that client want to come back into your chair. Then that client want to tell all his friends to come in your chair. Clients' friends want to tell their friends to come in your chair. Well, that, my friend, is how you make a business. Enjoy it, love it. It's an awesome industry to be in. Now with my Kenshi scissors, never ever feel like you, like a lot of people have so many different rules and regulations to how cutting hair is. There is a set routine that I tend to use, it's my way, it might not be anyone else's way. <clears throat> but sometimes I like to soften that fade and I always find that scissors, when I'm fading out, gives it just such a softer, softer fade. I don't want it to be too harsh, too blunt. Like, I want there to be some softness to it. So, with my scissors and my Andis small comb, because there's a small comb and there's a big comb, just using the fine teeth, just getting off them a little, little bit, just making that nice and soft. And then sometimes I'll run the thinners for it just to make sure that lays nice up, just to take some of that weight out. I know, are, are you against that? Are you for that? Let, let me know what you think in the comments below. So with my Slim Man Pro Allies, what I like to do now is I like to shape this up. This is what all my clients ask for when they come in, is to make their front look nice and sharp. And I can do that with my Slim Man Pros without cutting people. That's the best thing is that they get nice and close and they don't cut people. Again, you can gap these, so you can make you can gap them to make them look um, get as close as you want. Sorry. Not only can you gap them 
you can use them in the Andis um, Zero Gaffer. You can buy that from Andis as well, or eBay or Amazon or wherever. You just stick in the Zero Gaffer machine and it doesn't record you, it doesn't work anything. That's what I do with most of my clippers now. This is Gabriel's um, first hard part that we've actually done on his hair. It's quite funny really, he's never had a hard part before and sort of shock. Didn't tell him I was going to do it and then just started doing it in the video. And after we finished the haircut he was like, why have I not, not had one of these before, this is so cool. I thought I'd get the camera nice and close in there just to see some real good detail of what I'm doing. As you can see I'm just very, very softly tapping that. Especially for a new hard part, I don't want to make that too thick. I just want to tap that in there, nice and softly. Just making sure it's leaving it's sort of a line there. I'm going to just come back across it, just to make sure it's nice and straight, and nice and sharp. Now using my Layright grooming spray, um, how many of you have used this before? Let me let me know what you think of it. I I absolutely love it. I'm addicted to it. In fact, I got some in Chicago at the NBS um, mic, and it was absolutely outstanding. I started using it, and I was like, "What?" Just the best thing about it is it smells so good. It smells like something you could just drink. It does smell absolutely nice. So then with that. What it does is it holds, it gives a nice gritty feel to it when you, um, when you blow dry it out. So now onto the blow dry. Gabe's hair, what we're going to use is we're going to use a bit of Layrite um, 
Smack Cream mixed, infused, the infusion card with Dragon Ball Z there. Um, I'm going to infuse that with a little bit of hair powder, or dust, whatever you might call it. Um, if people watch my channel, they'll know that I absolutely love hair dust. I beer is the best thing in the world. <laughs> I love hair dust. guys finishing off with the Jack Bean Pompadour Comb. Just go and run that through there and you can see it just that look nice and sharp. Finish it with a little bit of spray obviously to hold it in. Gabe's hair is really heavy so we have to spray that down. Remember guys if you like this video watch my others. Also hit that subscribe button. I want to try and get a hundred thousand subs by the end of the year. So hitting that subscribe button would help me absolutely loads. Like I, I'm really, really trying. I'm, I'm trying to get two videos a week out for you guys now. So with that said, it would really, really help me. I appreciate all of you. Father love to every single one of you. Have a great week and great weekend with whatever you're doing. Love the game. Love the passion. Peace out, people. So here's another 20 seconds of things you may not know about Kira the Barber. Uh, I have two children, Riley is three, Amelia is one, I have my missus, I have my two dogs and I have two cats and we have a lovely family home. There we go, that is it, peace out people.